All right, everybody, what is going on? It's Saturday today. I've actually got the day off work, and I've only done one day, and they've already given me a day off. But hey, I'm not complaining. Um, I've got a bit of a stretch coming up after today. I've got four 12-hour shifts in a row, so that's always a bit painful near the end, but it's all good. You've got to earn some money. But um, anyway, I'm going to go meet my mate Achilles, who also lives here in Alice Springs down at the gym. We've both got memberships at Anytime Fitness, and um, I've been trying to organize something with them for a while, but it turns out that today, I mean, I was away recently, and it turns out today we're finally doing the same muscle group, because that was always the issue. Or he was there having a rest day. This guy, fuck, I've never, I've never met someone to have so many fucking rest days, come. Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, today we're gonna hit a push session I'm not going to do triceps because I've hit them three times in the last week, so I definitely don't need to hit them again for another couple of days. They are feeling, my elbows are, are feeling sweet, but I don't want to push them too hard. So today we're going to do chest and shoulders, and um, should be a good sesh. So, see you there. So yeah, as like I was saying, we're going to hit chest and shoulders. I'm not going to hit tries. Um, he's actually got a YouTube channel as well. It's he does gaming and he's also into bodybuilding as well, natural bodybuilding. Um, he's a king when it comes to macros. He has a shitload of knowledge. So if, if anything, if you want to ask him anything about diet, uh, give him a message. But his Snapchat will be up here somewhere and also his YouTube channel. Um, yeah, he's a good mate of mine, so give him a follow. Also his Instagram too. Flat press on a machine. Nice and safe. All right, guys, what is going on? We're going to attempt a one take voiceover here for this workout. Now, I'm just gonna talk you through it. Um, it was me and Achilles. This was the first movement that we decided to do. Now, uh, it was gonna be a, a full push session, so we're talking chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, we decided that was definitely gonna to be too long, and um, we just hit chest and shoulders. So, for chest, it was two exercises. For shoulders, it was two exercises. Um, Pretty much every single workout, regardless of muscle group, I'll always start with a big compound lift. Now, you could do a bench press of sorts, either a flat, an incline, decline, whatever you want. I decided to go on this absolutely delicious flat press machine. And actually, looking at my form right now, um, I could have put the seat down a little. Um, my torso was probably a little bit too high, um, a little bit taller than Achilles, and I don't think we changed the seating between sets. So, if anything, I could have put the seat down, but basically what I'm focusing on guys is keeping my shoulder blades retracted, keeping my shoulders back as, as far as possible, um, keeping the tension on the chest the whole way up, the whole way down, uh, keeping a nice nice tempo there, and I'm um, just ripping it out. Now that was a drop set. We did five working sets total, and with a drop set to finish, a triple drop. And that's, that's how we did it um, on every single exercise. So the first exercise for chest was a compound lift, which was a flat press. The second exercise for chest is more so an isolation movement, um, and that is a cable fly. Now we mixed it up between ones from slightly above the shoulder, as you're seeing now. Uh, with this movement, I'm trying to keep a nice constant tension along the chest and along the shoulder, um, keeping my arms, you know, relatively, uh, put, you know, in line with the cable, but the elbow uh, constantly bent. That's the way I like to do it, guys. Over, you know, the only thing that's going to get you better um, at, at executing an exercise like this, where you need to get good mind-muscle connection, is practice. It's time. You know, time, patience, practice. You get in there, you do flies over and over and over again. You'll realise when you're not hitting the chest properly. Um, mind-muscle connection is not something you get straight away. You know. Uh, but anyways, this was an example of the flies from the bottom. And that was chest done. We did two working sets from the top, two from the middle, and two from the bottom, plus the five working sets on the press. So that was chest done. And then we went over to a shoulder press. Now, shoulders, um, dumbbells, Smith machine, fucking military press with a barbell. You can use this machine here. It doesn't really matter what you use. In fact, to be honest, guys, usually I don't even do a pressing movement. Um, I'll do variations of raises, front raises, side raises, rear delt flies, things like that. Um, I don't believe you need a pressing movement to build a, a, a good, you know, big delt. Um, but we did it today anyway. So another five working sets. I think this was one of my 
one of the working sets uh, from for eight to ten reps, and um, we did a drop set to finish there as well. And then so that was the compound movement for shoulders. And finally, guys, we did a isolation movement for shoulders, which was just a seated uh, side raise. I used a 12 kilo dumbbell. Now I can up the weight, but because it was at the end of the workout. Um, I was feeling pretty fatigued and also sitting down makes it slightly harder as well. You can't really swing as much, even though it looks like I am swinging slightly. But I, what I will tell you is that the whole way up, the whole way down, I'm keeping tension on the muscle and whatever I'm training, shoulders, chest, back, legs, arms, it doesn't matter. Time under tension is absolutely key for me and it's something you know I'm always going to advocate for. So that was the workout, guys. I hope you got something from it. Great workout. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so workout is done, it's fucking successful. Hope you enjoyed the voiceover. It is now time for some post-workout gains in the form of some meat, well some protein and some carbohydrates, which is going to be maybe not. Yes, please. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Fresh out of the oven, mate. Can't go wrong with that. Whoa. I do not like shopping in a supermarket when it's busy. I've come to the conclusion. And that water's, that water's now turned into hot water. I do not want that. Alright guys, little grocery haul in the books. And we're now going to head home and uh, actually eat something because I'm starving, man. Alright guys, post-workout meal time. We've got a few things going on. Uh, but I'll bring you over to the kitchen and show you exactly what we've got. Alright, so the toast. Toast is up and it's fucking hot. Um, we'll just uh, put that over there. So every single post-workout, I want you know a couple of sources of carbohydrates, a couple of sources of protein, or maybe just one. But uh, today is no different. So for the protein, guys, we've got half a chicken. So this is the chicken that I bought. I've basically taken off one breast and one leg. Um, all the meat is there less probably half of the skin because you know the skin's pretty shit um, as well as that so that's the protein and yes that may be about 500 grams worth of uh, meat which is probably over you know 100 grams worth of protein but you'll never see me say anything about you can only absorb 30 35 grams of protein per per meal or per hour or whatever because i believe you should really look at things in the big picture you know, at least probably every 24 hours, if not 48 hours, as far as counting your macros go. I don't think meal timing has that much of an effect. But with that said, we've probably got at least 500 grams of chicken breast and thigh meat. Two pieces of raisin, what is it? Wholemeal raisin toast, which is pretty decent. We've got two bananas and we've got an oaty slice, which is a little bit of sugar in there. Uh, on the toast, I'll probably put some honey and maybe some peanut butter. And following this, guys, I'll probably do it all again. So I'll see you then. Before I went to the gym, guys, I had my usual shake, uh, which is well, which was also my breakfast. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I had a banana, two scoops of protein powder, half a cup of egg whites, and 100 grams of oats, and some blueberries, and some almond milk which is always absolutely delicious, exactly what I need. I keep saying it guys, it's a perfect way to start the day, as well as my creatine. So creatine, I feel like it's definitely given me uh, some fullness. I feel a little bit bigger, I feel like I'm a, you know, a little bit stronger than I was last week especially, seeing that I didn't train fuck all and you know, I was dehydrated every day in Bali and you know, it was extremely hard to feel 100% at any time of the day and to, to make gains and to feel good and feel strong and, and, and hydrated it was pretty much impossible so anyways I'm gonna get onto this feed I'm fucking starving hope you guys enjoyed the workout footage um, 
chest and shoulders, definitely something I want to bring up. I keep saying that about everything, don't I? But really, I do want to bring them up. And if I could, if I could maybe, you know, build some traps too, maybe, you know. They're kind of, they're quite shredded, they're quite lean, but they're definitely not big. They don't have that, you know. They're, um, genetically they're sort of like that rather than out and down. You know what I mean? Because genetics play a huge part in all this shit. But anyways, I'm fucking hungry. See you guys later on. Peace. Staring at your body, it got gravitation on its own. Ain't think you about it till I took you home. Grabbing on your ass, I'ma proceed to a mood and close. We gon' take it slow. Afterwards, we find the burning zone. Call me KDC, call me Poppy when we in them shit. Think that she a freak, a freak, a freak, a freak, a freak with me. Think that she can handle deep, she can handle this as easily. I'ma pull up in the beam, I want gold across my teeth. I'ma take you down.